In this video, we're going to create these lines connecting to our data points. And if I refresh, we can see here these lines will nicely move along with the data point. Let's explore how to do this. So let's start to look how to draw the data point lines here. So basically, I want to draw lines from here, from top to bottom to the specific data point. To do this, first of all, make sure you have the boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link which is also in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page here. And of course, got questions, put them on the Discord channel and I'll make sure to make a video of those. So what we're going to do here is start to work on creating this line chart here. I already have a line chart. And what I want to do now is build a plugin to make connecting lines to the very top to bottom here. To do this, comma, plugins, we're going to say here, custom plugin, let's call this our data point lines. Copy this. Then what I will do here, slash, slash, that one, plugin block, then constant, like that, ID. We'll make sure that this is in a sync quotation, that is better. There we are. And then when would we like to draw this? Well, we want to make sure that the lines will connect at the very back of this data point here or of this uh, circle. So that's very important. So we're going to say here, before we create the data set or the data points, we will draw first our lines. So before the data sets has been drawn, we draw our item. So say arcs and plugins, there you go. And then we're going to say an object destructuring, we're going to say equals to chart. Then what we're going to say here is the following constant chart. Uh, what do we need? We'll probably need the CTX because I want to draw on the canvas. We will be needing the skills data, X and Y. And finally, do we need the chart area? I don't think so. Um, maybe. Well, well, let's put in there chart area. And then probably I'll need the bottom value. So what I'm going to do now is start to draw that. So I'm going to say ctx.save. Then what I want to do here is say ctx.begin path. Why? Because I want to create a new line that's independent of anything else. So it will not bleed over to elsewhere. So we have this. Then what I want to do is I want to give it a color. Say ctx.stroke style for the color. That will be a black color. Then what we want to do here is the line width. So ctx.line width. We'll make the line one pixel, pixel thick. Then what I want to do is start to draw the line. So I'm going to say ctx.move to, I've got here the x and y corner. This here creates the very starting point of the dot. And then we have another one, the ctx line to, which will give us the connecting line. Basically between this coordinate and that one, we'll draw the line. So let's start to put in the starting point here. So what do we need here? Well, in this case, I need to get basically this point here on the X axis. That will mean how many pixels I need to go to the left. So to get this, we can just very quickly grab a single item here. That's why we have this X here. We can say X dot get pixel for a value. And then this will be zero. And the reason why this is index zero and later on, we're going to soft code that, but for now, we just keep it like that. Then I have here the Y and the Y would be indicating the value here. That is number 18. What we could do, you could say, well, we can just grab this, put it in here, say 18, but then for the Y value, and then we can do here. This one would be from this point to the bottom. This is the bottom here. That's where we have the chart area. You can do it like that. If I save this, refresh. Oh, it doesn't work yet. Why? We need to draw it. CTX.stroke to draw the line. Because this here is an intention to draw. This is the command to draw. Save. Refresh. There we are. But if you're, if you're like me, this is not nice. I want to have this moving effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a moving effect. And for that, what we need to do here is we're going to say a chart.get data set meta data set meta singular zero index zero and then we say here data index zero dot y if i save this 
refresh, now we get the moving effect. So now we have this, I want to apply it to all of them. How can we do this? Well, to do that, we need to basically use it for each loop to loop through these items. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to get here the data sets. I guess we can say here, we need to access to the data points. That's it, data. Then what I want to do here, data dot data sets index zero dot data dot for each. So we're going to loop through all of these items. And we're going to say here, um, what we need here is a data point. So for every data point, we also have the index function arrow expression. Copy this, put it in here, give it a proper indentation. Then of course, the index here will soft code this number. If I save this, refresh, there we are. That works. But of course, I want to make sure that they will hit this specific point. So what I'm going to do here is grab this data point here or the Y, sorry, no, even, we don't even need that. We just need an index here. Save that, refresh. There we are. And now that's it.